Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 7 of the Minecraft series. This episode, I'm going to make some farms. We got villagers last episode, and so far the only way I can really get food is from the farms over at the village, and they aren't very good. So I was thinking this episode, I might flatten this out and just make a wheat farm, carrot farm, potato farm. I'm not sure if I'll make it automatic. I might eventually, but for the time being, I'll just I'll just make like a pretty looking farm that's also practical as well so that we can get heaps of crops to like first of all as a good food source for me but then also so we can give it to our villagers and breed them up so that we can start working on our little villager empire I guess. That's what I'll be doing this episode so I'm going to Get started on it. Okay, I have finally finished flattening out this entire area. So we have heaps of space to work with now. I can always, you know, extend this down as well. Now I just have to obviously build the farms. And then we'll have a whole bunch of food that we can start giving to the villagers to breed. And whilst we'll be waiting for that to grow, I might then also make the room a bit bigger, make it a bit nicer. I'm not sure if I will keep the villagers inside the house, so I might not make it too perfect at the moment, just, you know, a temporary place to try and get some good trades up and going, and then we can move them at a later date. Yeah, I'll start work on the farms and then we'll extend out their little area of it as well. Thank you. 
Okay, I have now finished the farms as well. We've planted some wheat, some beetroot, some potatoes, some carrots, and we've got some pumpkins and melons growing. Obviously, this is this is very it's small, it's impractical, it's all a mess, but it's at least something. So, we'll we'll change this up eventually. Say if the villagers like the population grows really big and then it's too much of a hassle having to farm this manually. I might then build up some automatic farms, but for the time being, this this will do just fine. Now I'm going to send this out. I'll at least make it bigger, and I actually might try and shear some sheep as well for some wool, for some beds. And then hopefully by the time I've done that, this will have grown and then we can feed up the villagers, get them breeding, and I'll try and get a Mending villager by the end of this video. I'm gonna start off by shearing some sheep and getting a whole bunch of wool because we will need a lot of beds. All the times when I've had villagers inside my homes, it hasn't been very pleasant. They'll spawn heaps of cats, they'll spawn heaps of iron golems, and then it's just a hassle to sort of navigate around and they clog up your house with heaps of unwanted stuff. Or we might just dig down of the house so that they don't interfere with everything. They just sort of make a, a mess otherwise, which isn't very nice to have in your house. Either I'll make them like a hut or a barn or something outside, or I'll just dig down really far into the cave and we'll put them in there so it, it won't be an issue. You know, we, we can set up a, a whole trading hall and stuff. I don't think I'll make automatic breeders because that's sort of unnecessary. It's not very hard to just manually throw them down food and just then lure them over with new jobs. So yeah, actually I think that's what I'll do. I'll just dig down really far into the cave, set set them up down there, and then also set up the trading hall. The main thing we're focusing on getting is obviously enchantments, but I might also set up a villager with each job as well. We have like a fisherman, an armorer, a toolsmith, just because some of them can just give you good stuff like the armorsmith and toolsmith, they can give you enchanted diamond gear and stuff, but you can also trade them iron, which is very helpful. I think one of the farms that I definitely will be doing is an iron farm. We can give them iron for emeralds, we can give them obviously with our farm, we can give them extra crops and sell those for emeralds. We can set up trees and sell them sticks for emeralds. Setting up these big trading halls is so, so handy and overpowered. You, you can get stacks of emeralds from like minutes of work, <laughs> which is really good. And then you can get a whole ton of enchanted books. I find getting villagers with each enchantment that you want is easier than trying to work with an enchantment table. It can be a pain to try and re-roll re for them to get the books you want, but once you have it, it's there permanently instead of, you know, trying to get lucky on the enchantment table. I I think we'll do that. We've also got 35 wool. That should be enough for the time being. I'll still just set them up in this little room for now, and then later on we'll start digging down and actually get them a permanent setup. just gonna quickly bone meal because none of it has grown and I want to test and make sure that this is definitely working. I think it is, uh, but you never know. Yeah, this <laughs> this is very impractical at the moment. I, I will make this a lot nicer at some point in the future, but for the time being it's more about just darting all of this stuff up and then we can make it more practical and automatic and look nicer later on. Are you guys not compatible or something? Is the room not big enough? Ah, 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 no, I don't want you... No, you're not meant to be composting it. Ah, uh, oh, yes, okay, good, it's working. I'm going to make a lectern, actually. I'll make two lecterns and we can actually start trying to get a mending book. We have got our first baby. 
Nice. So these guys are working perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll quickly make some lecterns and we'll try and get get mending and maybe something else. Maybe like protection four as well. Okay, we've got the lecterns. I'm gonna do one at a time. What do you have? Curse of energy. The curse of vanishing. That is terrible. Now you smite four. Don't need that. Oh, I hope I hope we can get lucky with this because this can take literal hours. So, oh my god. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> that took what four resets? That's wow. Okay, that's very good. Never mind. Forget what I said. We can get this trade and lock it in. Here we go. Ah, here we go. There we go. Awesome. Thank you very much. We have already got mending. That's that's fantastic, honestly. Um, I might try resetting for protection four now. Or if I get something like, I don't know, efficiency four. We'll, we'll keep looking for another good enchantment. But the what are these yeah, the, the librarians are sort of the most important thing to start off with. The enchantments. I'll probably need I'll probably need to cut to when uh, I get this because this this might take a while. Though that being said, we did get mending in literally five resets, so this might take no time at all. Oh my gosh! Prop four! <laughs> wow! Uh, okay, we've already got a prop four and a mending guy. Uh. I wow, I'm having great luck. Well, I think I'll probably end the episode here. We've made the farm, we've flattened out this. This took a while, but we've got all of this space to work with. So honestly, if you guys think of anything else I could do out here, like maybe build something or just have my farms out here, because we've got a we've got a lot of flat space to work with now, which is awesome. We've set up the farm, we've got our villagers some more beds and we've actually managed to get some really good enchantments already oh and it started raining okay we've we've made a bit of progress this episode once again feel free to comment leave your thoughts and ideas maybe tell me what i should maybe put out here but yeah anyway thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next episode Bye bye